Let's go. I have learned no new skills, and to be frank, I never noticed them anyway. Let's go. <laughs> now then. Uh huh. Ah, screw it. This is tiresome. Hmm. You need more motivation. I do. I really, really do. Now then, let's start this class trial. Before we start, I just want to ask something since there's not a lot of us left. What happens if the votes result in two first places? Huh? You mean like a tie? Good question, actually. It means they're both the blacken. As long as one of them is correct. That's fine. Really? That's kind of fucked up, to be honest. Daddy, are you sure you should make a decision like that? Like, oh, if we can narrow it down to two people, we got it. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Whatever. That's kind of fucked up, dude. Thanks. Since that's answered, I can start enjoying this life or death game now. What game? How long are you going to keep saying that? Just ignore Kokichi. The rest of us need to work together to find the truth. Got it? We can't die here! Oh my! Himiko has become so determined! It's true! People really do change! But now she's lost what made her so unique. That's none of your business! We should focus on the class trial. First, we need to clarify... She's got three fucking X's on her portrait. Jesus Christ. Kaito's the culprit! What? Say that to my face! I mean... While we were all still logged in, Kaito logged out alone, right? You were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you could have committed the murder? No. Don't screw around! There's no way I'm the culprit! Probably not. Kaito right. Kaito couldn't have killed Mew. Probably true. How long are you gonna keep saying that? Trusted people can still kill, you know. We already saw that a bunch of times. So many times. Since Kaede. The fact Kaito was the only one logged out is suspicious. Not really. But he's not the culprit. He can't be. Mm, right. Kaito logged out first by himself. What's Kaito's count exactly? It's him getting logged out, right? Yeah. So, you was still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? What, uh, Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? Hold on, like, so... Her eyes are not bloodshot, this is easy to disprove, but like, where do you want me to do it? And do you want corpse? Well, Kaito, any last words? What do you mean, last words? So, it's on the poison, probably, but is it me use corpse, or the, uh... That's when you poisoned her. No. So, is it the small bottle of poison? Okay. Uh, it had to be one of them, but you know. Mew wasn't killed by poison, and the warning on the label proves it. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. Oh, but Mew's body... That's right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. She wasn't killed by that poison. Then what was that poison for? Probably a diversion. The culprit wanted us to think Mew died by poison. Then... 
What was her real cause of death? He was the only real cause of death. The only one I could think of. Uh... Uh, oh, maybe you want, maybe it wants me to say the simulator, because technically the simulation backfiring is what killed her. This is it. Okay, that's fair enough, I suppose. The cause of death was the killing game simulator itself. In the virtual world, if your avatar takes fatal damage, your real body dies of shock. That was made clear in the program's text file. Miyu received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Um, Gonta has question. Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it? Oh, Christ. If you don't understand, then don't say anything. If Mew was killed in the virtual world, then the next thing we need to figure out is what caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual world. So her cause of death in the virtual world is the one that matters. Uh, um... Uh, it seems like Gonte is confused. So why don't we review things a bit? Um... So, we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. Holy shit, look at Korokiyu's poster. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Samugi, Gonta, and... That NPC, Kaito. Hey, who you call an NPC, you ASS? And the others who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and... The late Mew. How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? That's what we gotta think about. Now, let's all work together. Aww, little Himiko is all grown up. Too bad your chest hasn't grown up, though. That was uncalled for! Someday, my chest will grow like crazy! Let's begin, then. <laughs> it's just like, anyway. The fatal damage Mew received. Let's pin that down. So, I mean, she looks like she got choked, but then, like, also the hammer seems like it was probably a decent choice. In the virtual world, Mew was fatally injured. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Whatever did that to Mew was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! Or going to beat her with his bare hands. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strangulation is more likely. That's what I thought. It's possible she was pushed from a great height. Could she have drowned? Hmm. That should yield a clue. In the virtual world, Mew was fatally injured. I mean... So let's focus our efforts on that first. Whatever did that to Mew... Seems like it has to be Hammer. Right next to her avatar. It has to be the Hammer! I'll agree. No, okay. But like... How, so how do you... So then it's like got slammed into it, but like... Whatever did that to you was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the Hammer! Or going to beat her with his bare hands. Hmm. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strangulation is more likely. It's possible she was pushed from a great height. Could she have tried? Maybe Monokuma file and no external wounds? But I mean, obviously there wouldn't Virtual be external wounds on her real injured. body because she died from so let's shock. Whatever did that to you. Oh, maybe right Miu's curse and that corpse, and we agree with, uh, with, uh, with, uh Maki. Was involved? I think strangulation. Right here. Alright. I agree. The only thing that I was wondering about was, like, if they died of shock, would she really have held her hands up like that, you know? Miu's body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle. Yeah. She looked like she suffered. 
very hard to look at. But it's like, outside she died from shock, so it's a little weird that her body is actually contorted like that. Like, presumably she wasn't moving around, you know? connected to our five senses. If her body experienced pain, she must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. Knowing that, I believe Maki is correct. You were strangled to death. Yeah, definitely. Strangling and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she suffocated. It's just weird that her arms actually, like, moved while she was in there, but nothing yeah, else did. already removed the possibility of poison, so it can only be strangulation. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest and mouth. But Mew was holding her throat. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. Oh, the Assassin Master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. In that case, her exact cause of death is being strangled in the virtual world. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. Yeah, if she was just as strong as them, no way they could have strangled her. Then the culprit would need a tool. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Oh shit. What if, like, she got thrown off- no. <laughs> like, what if she got, like, hung, essentially, by the toilet roll? Wow, you know a lot about killing, nerd. But then they'd need to, like, get the body back up to the roof to push it down again, so... Also, whoever did it is gonna need to have known that Miyu tampered with the program in a really specific way. But was there even a rope in that world? I don't remember seeing one. Then they must have used something else as a roll. Oh, I guess you could just ye they could have just tossed the toilet roll over though, right? They could have just used it like a to choke her while she was up there and then threw it away. I have an idea of what it might be. I found it during the investigation. This is it. Yeah, what a day. What a world. During the investigation we found toilet paper outside the mansion. I'm guessing that the toilet paper was used to strangle her. Go to no can ignore that. I know what you're gonna say, but what you mean, Shuichi? Huh? What's wrong? What wrong? Shuichi goofing off. Not gentlemanly at all. Okay. Probably sitting No time for nonsense! No can use toilet paper! In place of rope! What tear too easy! Even Gonta know that! And Gonta not smart! I didn't actually have oh no, okay. No, I'm positive toilet paper was used instead of rope. You died such an awful death. So why you not take this seriously? You call yourself ultimate detective? Use your head! Figure out real murder weapon! No, I'm positive Total was used in... Yeah. No time for nonsense! No can use toilet paper! In place of rope! Would tear too easy! Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't words. need to advance it at all. You just usually do. The toilet paper wouldn't tear. Because in the virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Breakable? <laughs> You're so dumb, Gonta. You didn't even know that? If objects can't break in that world, then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. Gonta not really understand, but... Sorry, Shuichi. Gonta was wrong. Yeah, you dumb bitch. It's okay, Gonta. Don't worry about it. Killed by toilet paper. It was a fitting end for her. You're actually right. A fitting end? I do not fully understand that logic. No, no, she's right. But if Mew was killed near the chapel, 
Why was the murder weapon by the mansion? Because she was killed at the mansion. Maybe the culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. If the culprit meant to get rid of the evidence, they did a poor job of it. There was a much better place they could have destroyed it. If toilet paper was the murder weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? Perhaps the culprit prepared a backup weapon, just in case. That's probably what her weapon was, right? She was trying to murder someone and then ended up getting killed. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. Yeah. No? But who else but the culprit would bring a hammer? We, we already know who brought that hammer. It was Miyu. That's it! Miyu was gonna do a crime, but she got out crime. Miyu was the one who brought the hammer. Miyu bring hammer? Remember what she told us? Uh-huh, all gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she did say she deleted any dangerous objects. If that were true, she wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. On purpose? But why she do that? Well, Mew brought the hammer for sure, but what did she need it for? We need to make that clear. Crimes! Let's assume that Mew brought the Probably this. What was she planning to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall? That would be impressive. This is for a hammer. Don't you know? Mew gonna build stuff with hammer. She probably just brought it for self-defense. Nope. Or she secretly met up with someone. Yes. I agree. Mew was gonna meet up with someone in the virtual world. Mm-hmm. With me. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What? Is that true? I overheard them talking about it at the chapel. By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. Well... You didn't forget, though, did you? You already said something different that you couldn't get there because the door was locked. Wait, so Miu called Kokichi out? Man, she was gonna kill Kokichi. We can only hope that Kokichi ended up killing her so that Kokichi still dies as a result. If Miu brought the hammer, I wonder what she was It's gonna be to really disappointing it. if somebody else killed Miu and now Kokichi doesn't die because Miu fucked up. That's gonna make me really mad. Kokichi better have been the one that killed her. Kokichi's already already figured it out. She was planning to kill crimes. That's it. She was trying to kill Kokichi. Unfortunately, as we can see, Kokichi is still here. She was what? Yep. She plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. Yep. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure out Mew's plan, okay? That part's all easy. She was gonna then just like scoot across the wall because she was an object, and you know. Yeah, taxi time. Who tried to kill Kokichi? This is almost insulting that you felt the need to include this part. It was Miu. Where was Miyu trying to kill Kokichi? The ver the afterlife. Fuck off.
Why was a bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat? Really? We think that was part of her plan? Just uh she put it there to frame him? Like, I guess. Or to set something up? I guess. I just kind of figured Kokichi brought it himself to, like, be a little shit. To divert attention. So we're saying that Miu brought that? I mean, I guess that's possible. I just thought Kokichi was an asshole, you know? She wanted it to appear as if Kokichi was killed in the real world. She placed the poison on my seat to make us think the murder happened in the real world. She did that too? What? Miu was the one who put that poison bottle there? I think this is a kind of a sudden leap to make. I mean, it's not exactly out of the realm of possibility, sure. It just seems like a bit of a sudden jump. No, that ain't right. Something's definitely weird about that. I mean, not really. Like, I agree we jumped to it pretty suddenly, but, like, it makes sense. Oh, the, lo could you have put the, poison there? the log in, log out. She took she a little longer. The poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. Oh. No, that's agreeing with it, not disproving it. Of course, I'm an idiot. I was like, no, the logs counter that. That was an agree. And then what? Log back in. Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. Yeah. If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have placed her. Nah, she she could have done. She logged in later than us. That's wrong. It was Mew who planted the poison on Kokichi's chair. She had plenty of time to do it. Here, take a look at this. Is this a record of who went in and out of the virtual world? That's right. It says that Mew was the last of us to log in. Yeah, what about it? If Come on, dog. Honest, she would have had time to move around in the real world after the previous person logged in. That right. She could have placed Poison Bottle on Kokiji's seat. This was all part of Mew's plan. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, make us think it happened in the real world, then pin the crime on Kaito. Well, that's not my fault. Which is why she manually logged you out, just for that purpose. So she did that to me? Yeah. Yes, I'm positive of that. Well, it doesn't strictly need to have been her, because it seems like you could probably do the same thing from the phone in the salon, but she probably did do it, yes. Mew used a method only she could use to log Kaito out manually. Well, you don't know that because we didn't test it with the other phone. Like, there's, I, we haven't proven that it need you need to do it from the cell phone to log from someone else out. But I mean, I guess I'm willing to accept this is it. it. It was the cell phone found by Mew's avatar. Even though we didn't really do an adequate amount of investigation on that for my liking. That cell phone worked the same way as the phone in the salon. It logs users in and out. I verified this myself when I spoke Kaito's name into it. But we don't know that the salon see, phone can't do that. that. Cell phone, she could force anyone to log out at any time. But Mew never mentioned the cell phone, right? Well, yeah. Shuichi referred to when he mentioned a method only she could use. She kept the cell phone a secret on purpose, so she could use it for the murder. So, she really was. I, I am just like a little annoyed that we didn't try to verify if the salon phone could do the same thing. And she tried to set me up. Like I'm prepared to accept that that phone follows different rules, but I would like if we tried, you know. Well, I knew that from the start. Then why did you say I was the culprit? Because I wanted to get it through your thick skull. People you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. 
This is a game of suspicion. Well, I think your ideals should stay the same. Because phonies like you are what make the game more interesting. Don't you agree, Monokuma? Hmm? Do I? I don't know about that. Dog, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, wait. What were we talking about? I wonder when Daddy's gonna get his motivation back. Yeah! If Father keeps slacking off, all the work is gonna get forced onto Mommy. Huh? Mommy? <laughs> My head! I feel like I'm about to remember something, but I can't. What's wrong, Monotaro? Pull yourself together! Anywho, it's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. Oh, big lie. What you mean? Because she wouldn't have said anything about what really happened in the virtual world. You guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know. She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. And you'd never know that the murder actually took place in the virtual world. Even though this should be pretty obvious that you can do that, but, you know. And, like, we would have still known Kokichi didn't die by the poison because his eyes wouldn't be bloodshot. We'd still come to the same conclusion in the end, I feel. So that's why she decided to attempt a murder, because she had total control. Then the reason Mew was so insistent we go into the virtual world was... Yeah, in hindsight it makes perfect sense. I just thought she was kind of an idiot and gullible, but, you know. She was insistent we go there so she could kill us! What a shame. Yeah, in hindsight that seems obvious. I just thought she was stupid. I was sad that she was gone, but now I don't know what to think. They did also kind of deflect immediately prior with that scene that had Kokichi and uh, Monokuma in it. <laughs> nice! Backstabbed by a trusted friend. Oh, sick betrayal. See? That's an ideal fun situation. Now we can start a real class trial. Hey, Kokichi sort of sound like Monokuma. Whoops. That's, um... That's an interesting observation that you just made. Hmm? Really? I don't sound anything like him. No. You're just like Monokuma. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Yeah, true. Wait, coward? You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma. Daddy, they're calling you a coward. Aren't you gonna do something? Yeah, what if they body swapped? Maybe that's why Monokuma seems so dejected. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta do my signature laugh, right? Hoo, 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 hoo. There, I did it. See, it's not even spelt the same. He's completely lost his drive. Like a one-hit wonder who clings to their former fame. Ugh, my head! Listen up, Kokichi. To hell with this game of suspicion crap. I will never be okay with it. I'm just gonna believe in everyone. Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them. Well, if you think you can win this game like that, then sure, be my guest. Of course I can. I don't need your permission. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry this up and continue. Yeah, that was dumb, to be honest. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die, you know that? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Huh? My story? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mew. Unfortunately, it does seem too easy to be the correct answer. Mm -hmm. You didn't? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. Do you think Kibo counts as an object? 
picking your specialty, you should have been able to open it easy. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. I remember you and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. No, it would be weird for it to be Kibo though, because he's the one that took us to show us the toilet paper. Why would he do that if he knew that was the murder weapon? Yeah, probably overthinking that. Huh? How should I know? Then who locks the door to the roof? I already told you! How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm, I see. I didn't realize that. Okay. What kind of response is that? That's suspicious as hell! He just seems too easy, and... I don't think, like, the worst part is, I don't think Kokichi is gonna die at all. I think he's gonna be here until the end, just based on prior experience. Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. The one I want to die the most never dies. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Truth? There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. So, what is this strange circumstance? Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Nope, she did. Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. <laughs> It's true, first we need to determine if Mew was actually there or not. Did she go, or was she never on the roof at all? She was. So... Mew was waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mew should have been at the chapel. If you look at where her avatar fell, it's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? Oh, Smoogie's no account, of course. The a bridge would be the only way to get across. So, her meeting with Kokichi... She stood me up! Mew was waiting to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No. Mew mm -hmm. No. Uh. Yeah, easy. I don't know why that one was so hard. It took me so long to actually figure out. You must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Yeah, when I was searching the dining room, I saw Mew pass by the window. Then why didn't you say so sooner? Didn't she? Sorry, I thought I was just mistaken at first. Since there was no way she could have come to the mansion. But I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. That was definitely Mew. Then, how did she get to the mansion from the chapel? It must have been some special method only Mew knew, like with that cell phone. Yep. There's no doubt about that. That's why she dropped the bridge. If a murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. So, what secret method did she use? Well... It won't be that easy to figure out. It's called a secret it's method It's actually... It, it's actually exceedingly easy to figure out when you know all the components. No worries, guys. 
As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything will be A-OK. -okay. What are you saying? We can't just rely on Shuichi all the time. This class trial's for all of us. We're here to solve this together. Nah, but you all are, like, pretty useless most of the time. <laughs> you would just slow down Shuichi. Shut up! I don't have time to deal with Kokichi. Right now, I need to focus on the case. And positive me use, use some kind of special method. Just have to figure out what it was. The way across it only me and more about. Like a hidden bridge besides that signboard, maybe. Or instead of bridge. You use some kind of vehicle to go over. Or maybe she teleported with magic. Or she used a warp zone. Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. A hidden route that only Mew could use to get across. Yes, this one. I agree. That's it, Kibo. There was a hidden route only Mew could use. Hmm? Was there really? <laughs> I was just saying shit. I didn't know. Mew modified the program to add a special wall to the world. The wall stretches along the y-axis, but we found two such walls in the virtual world. It's unclear whether Mew added the wall by the mansion or the wall near the chapel. We do know that that wall was set so that only objects could pass Don't through. Don't be naive, Shuichi! What? Huh? What is it, Kaido? He was right, you are slowing us down. Jeez, can you set up a weird wall like that? That is suspicious. But it's got nothing to do with what we were talking about. Nothing to do with it? Huh. You don't even realize your mistake? Are you losing your edge? Can you just shut up? Oh well, my sidekick's mistakes are my mistakes. I'll make it right. Settings on her avatar? Yeah. What we gotta figure out is how you got from the chapel to so why waste time talking about it's pointless. We gotta take a whole new approach here. Ugh. Now wait just a second. It's not actually impossible at all. But you just said so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up only lets non-human objects go through it. Humans aren't able to pass through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an object, after all. Yeah, she is, Kyle, though. Your words. I begrudge even having to have done this. Fucking Kaito. The wall wasn't the only thing that you changed. If you would have let me finish. She also changed her avatar settings from human to object. From human to object? Which means the virtual world treated her avatar as an object. She could have passed through a wall that only non-humans could go through. Is that right? Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaito. We need to listen to everything Shuichi says. I already told you. The more you try, the more you cause us trouble. It's so totally lame that your own sidekick is dissing you! Kokichi, enough! I wasn't arguing with him. I was just explaining- He is stupid, though. I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. He said, lying. It just means even I make mistakes. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty funny seeing Kaito try to act all tough like this. Sick hat levitation trick. Kokichi, please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. So... If Mew messed with the program and made a wall only she could go through, then her secret route was through that wall? That's it, right? Like using a glitch in a game to walk outside the map. I bet Mew had a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. But even if she could walk through walls, 
Was there really a hidden passage? Cause Mew said... Mew was like lying the whole time. What she said is irrelevant. She probably lied. There would be no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. Mew lied. Huh. I wonder what the truth is. There's no way to find out now. That cum-soaked urinal cake was totally lying about there being nothing past the wall. She lived a life of pride, vulgarity, and secrets. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. So, Kichi, you know I have to go that far. So, sure, but, like, we know that she lied. It's an indisputable fact. She lied about multiple things. Stop it! Don't badmouth Mommy! M Monotaro! Listen to you, talking about Mommy like she was a terrible lying whore. Well, she did, though. But Mommy wasn't lying! There was no hidden route in that virtual world! Uh, oh, there wasn't, huh? Hey! You can't tell them such an important hint! Oh, if you say that hint is important, then I guess it must be true. Oh, shoot! Ah, jeez. You're lucky you're cute. Was Gokichi saying all that stuff about Miyu to get the cubs to reveal something? Guess I should thank him, but I have no idea why he does things sometimes. So now that we know there's no hidden route, why did she manipulate the program? If there's actually nothing past the wall, then that setting was meaningless. What? Why? It just wraps around. You wouldn't have done something meaningless. She would have had a plan. Like, there is something past the wall, the other end of the map. What do you mean? Yes. You definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. Yeah, because it would wrap around. We aren't sure why yet, but once we solve the mystery of the virtual world... The mystery of... virtual world? There have been a lot of strange occurrences in the virtual world. If we can determine why, we will also determine what Mew was up to. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. All right, let's clear up those strange occurrences. Yeah, Gonta will help, even though Gonta not know what you're talking about. Speaking of strange occurrences, I'm just plain worried about that one thing. Remember? That thing that made us notice all the strange occurrences? The events that led us there. The loud noise. This is it! You mean the loud sound that you and I heard in the kitchen? The fact we could hear Kibo makes this part really you suspicious. Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. But that sound occurred near the chapel. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? Oh, maybe not. We know sound doesn't go through the loading zone, but we don't necessarily know that sound doesn't go through the wall. First off, sound can't go past the map loading point. Hmm. I see. Did that sound really come from the chapel? That sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. And we definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. You heard my voice too? What? That is pretty strange. Exactly. That has to be some kind of clue to the mystery of the virtual world. Okay, well let's check the answers later and try to find all the other clues first. There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? Kokichi talked like he noticed something. Pretending not to know? Even Gonta is suspicious of me? I always thought you would be the one to trust me! Shut the fuck up. Sorry, Gonta not mean it like that. There's no need to apologize to him. He's probably just lying again. What was the other strange occurrence? Did you see it, Shuichi? Another mysterious phenomenon. Something that shouldn't be possible, like Miu in the mansion and that loud noise. Uh... 
What was the other thing that happened? Why does it have to be this mini game again? I hate this. Oh, the sign? The sign ending up over there, of course. Get out of here. Ugh. 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 Wow, the other two... <laughs> Wow, if you didn't know, it's really easy to figure out from the other two. I'll find the cursor. The sign that we were using as a bridge was odd to me. Odd how? We mentioned it before, but Mew dropped the sign in the river. Mm -hmm. We found it later, but there was something unnatural about it. Mm-hmm. I'm most confused by how the sign got there. I'm not. Oh, taxi time. Let's go. At which point was the sign swept away? Well, like in the river or time? Oh, I guess. Yeah, river. Yeah. Where is the end of the river? At the wall? Oh, I see. Yeah, trap the side. Where was the signboard found after it was swept away? Mansion side. Compared to the river's current, which way did the signboard float? Uh, well, I mean, it went with it, but do you want me to say against it because it went the other way? Okay. Like, it wrapped around, I, it didn't go against the current. Like, it wrapped around the map. It appeared as though the sign was carried against the river's current. We all saw Mew drop the sign and watched the river carry it downstream. And the river was wide there. The sign should have traveled downriver toward the chapel, correct? Yeah, it did. It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there. No, not quite. But that's not where we found it. We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. Yeah. The signboard should have been near the chapel, but we found it on the other side. Yeah. Now what about that wall that only objects can go through? Hold up. Didn't you stay on the chapel side? She probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river. Then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept away and leave her stranded? 
Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're getting on no, topic. No, it does. We're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and what. Guys, like, I don't know why it's taking so long to get to this conclusion. All the mysterious things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. Connect how? A wall only objects can pass through. Sounds that shouldn't be heard. A signboard going against the river current. How are they all connected? Objects can go through the wall. <laughs> I don't know, but Shuichi should know. It right? wraps around the map. What? We would be in a lot of trouble if you didn't. The only one who can solve this mystery and save us all is you. So, how are they connected? Do you know Shuichi? Ah, well, what we know so far is that the unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. Yes. Wait, what? What clue is related to the unnatural way the sign was carried? It, the, what do you mean? It's the wall she made. Right? <laughs> That's what you want? This is it. Yeah, okay. It might have to do with a wall that only objects can pass. Yeah. Through. It sure does. The sign should have stopped at the wall on the other side of the chapel. But if that wall happened to be the one that you set to allow objects through. Yeah. I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. That means the signboard can pass through the wall, right? Yep. Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? You see... The only way it could do that is if the wall was a warp zone. But it's not, right? It is. That's the real issue here. How could the signboard pass through the wall but end up on the mansion side? What would explain Leave that? It to me, I, your partner, will give you hints I think it's in trouble. You know, I think it's incredible that they can just flat out say what the answer is and then go, huh, what's the answer? This is the virtual world. We should throw away all of our common sense. It'd have to be a it'd have to be a warp zone, right? Oh, that'd be crazy though. Couldn't be that. Huh? The hell does that even mean? Well, to be fair, it's probably really that the transition point in the middle is like the part that wraps around and Miyu broke it up by placing the other wall there. Like it's laid out on the map like it wraps around from the outside, but you know, it, it's probably actually the middle part that wraps, which is why it has to load. We need to forget what we, what we know and just think about it. How did the signboard pass through the wall downstream and end up, ended up upstream? Putting common sense aside and focusing on the flow of the river, how did the signboard pass through the wall? Uh... I mean, downstream and upstream connects. That's it! Okay. Yes. What if both ends of the river were connected? Yeah. Huh? Both ends of river connected? Like, guys, like, I don't know why this is taking so long to get to. Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. It's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. It sure is. What? What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't... Cut, please. Again, throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual This has taken like 30 minutes of deliberation. The answer is extremely obvious. As soon as you know objects can go through the wall and she's an object. Then what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. Right. Even if the river's connected and it goes through the chapel wall, 
It wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall too. No, like, okay, I see the contradiction you have here, but Miu drew this map. That's not actually the middle point of the uh, of that or at, the part that's in the middle, the wavy line, is not actually the middle. That's the end. That's the part that wraps round, and Miu broke it up with the wall in the middle. Then she drew this map to make it look like those are the end points rather than the middle. I got it. I know why Mew only set up one wall. Me? What are you talking about now? The reason she could only set up one wall is because the chapel and mansion walls are the same wall. That's it. The walls by the chapel and the mansion aren't separate. They're the same wall. The same wall? It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. Don't think of it as two separate walls, but a single wall parallel to the y-axis. That single wall divides the entire virtual world. The idea is, you pass through the wall by the chapel and come out by the mansion. <laughs> Everything is starting to connect. See, didn't I tell you? Everything is connected. Damn it, Kokichi. Just tell us. <sighs> it's okay. More importantly, this is the final stretch. If both the river and wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? The secret, huh? Yes, yeah, so I suppose we should clear that up. We need to solve the mystery of the virtual. What mystery? Wait, what? What mystery is left exactly here? I kind of feel like we cracked the case here already. Like, uh. World? Okay, what's the second word, though? Uh. Loops? Loops. Really? You're gonna make me do it again? You're gonna make me point out the same fact for like the seventh time? Ah, fuck. Ah, uh, please. Where? Okay. I... How... I... I... I feel like this point has needed to be proved, like, seven different times at this point. Yes, that's it. The virtual world is a loop. Like, it just feels like the last, like, eight questions have been the world loops, the world loops, the world loops, the world loops. You know what I mean? Like, the last dozen questions have just had the same answer. Ooh. Just like in old games, right? Like, for example... When a character goes off the left side of the screen and reappears on the right. Yes, exactly. The edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. Yes. Loops? Yes. What in the world? I'm so frustrated that this has taken so long. If that's true, it would explain the way the signboard was swept like, away. Like, this was not complicated to figure out, and it has taken so much time. It vanished into the wall downstream of the river, came out of that same wall upstream. And floated with the currents until it got caught on the rocks. What was the world like before Mew added the wall? Actually, there wasn't a wall on the y-axis at all. 
and the x-axis was set to loop. Are you serious? Even if it is a computer program, isn't that too crazy? What the fuck do you mean? What do you mean, Kaito? Why are you saying this? A looping world. That's more extraordinary than even... Guys, magic. we were literally inside a video game inside the video game. But at least it's not a boring answer. It also explains all the things that happened. Huh? It doesn't explain everything, does it? Yeah, it does. Because we still don't know why we heard that one sound or Kibo's voice. Bec oh my fucking god. Yeah, sound doesn't go past the nap loading point. Oh my fucking god, guys, please, you're killing me. Actually, if we know that the world is a loop, we can explain that as well. Huh? Really? Yes. But first we need to be clear where the loop starts. Where the loop starts? Doesn't it loop at the walls next to the No, bridge? you stupid bitch. It loops in the middle. If we heard a noise at the chapel from inside the mansion, then the loop... The loop starts here. There. The map loading point was where the virtual world looped. We thought the loading point was in the middle of the map. But the loading point was actually at the edges. Oh, that's a good point. I guess you could notice by like matching up that gray the the uh the edge of the cliff. I guess you could have matched that up to figure it out as well. So the wall me created wasn't at the edges of the world, but rather her wall was at the center of the world. I see. So the mansion and chapel were near each other, with a wall between them. And any sounds emitted near the chapel would also reach the mansion. The wall only allows non-humans to pass through, so sound should be able to pass through easily. That's right! That's how the virtual world works. <laughs> Impressive, Shuichi. For you to get this far. Yes. Yes. Shut up. For you to get this far. What are you? Some villain pulling the strings? Nope. Mew pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Mew also set this trap. It all began when Mew showed us the map. Because of the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center, which in turn made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. Yeah. There was a wall along the y-axis, and the x-axis came around in a loop. By putting that wall in the center of that world, she cut off the loop. Yeah. So ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. But we solved this mystery thanks to Shuichi. All hail our savior! Yeah, if Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. Yeah, and you needed it explained to you a lot of times anyway. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us. Uh, you're welcome. Just because we found out the virtual world's secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Actually, this culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. Yeah, this last like 40 minutes or so has not actually done much to move us forward, because this doesn't really prove who did anything, really. We proved by... Miu did all of that, but, you know. The, the only thing is, like, somebody needs to know that's how the wall functions, you know? That's how a class trial works, after all! Because they, they needed to know that they could launch her through the wall back again. But, I mean, somebody could have just seen her going through the wall, I guess. Kokichi talking like Monokuma again. No matter what you say, I'm not gonna believe your lies! 
I'm gonna believe in everyone. That's how I'm gonna reach the truth. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next. What is Kokichi's plan here? He's definitely prodding at Kaito on purpose. There's no time for distractions like him. We have to do what we have to do is find the culprit who killed Miyu. It doesn't matter how many little mysteries we solve, if we can't find the culprit, it would all be for nothing. But I still don't know for sure who it could be. Who used Mio's own plan against her? Who killed Miyu? Hmm hmm hmm. Well, it seems like it has to be somebody that was on the mansion side. Oh, not necessarily. Because somebody had an error, didn't they? What if the error was that they also got registered as an object? Hmm. The error, we'll probably need to figure out what the error was.